meteorologist Tom Patton. Good Tuesday, July 14th afternoon, right smack in the middle of the month almost here, a little past the middle of the year. And it's a nice hot day today, plenty of sunshine, good day to get out and do some yard work. A lot of folks don't like the heat. This, this isn't crazy heat yet, this is sort of just normal run-of-the-mill heat. Run-of-the-mill heat, is that a thing? It is now, if it wasn't before. All right, the average is 80, or I'm sorry, 90. 90 is run of the mill right now. Can you believe that? And that's about where we'll end up today. 69 is about where we were this morning and probably about where we'll be tonight. 103 back in 1954 and 54 back in 1940. Sun rose at six and sets tonight at 8.30. 8.30, mm. Days are getting a little shorter now every day, don't forget. I know it's not that noticeable yet, but all of a sudden you'll notice it at one point. Uh, upper 80s to around 90 for several hours this afternoon. You can see by about four o'clock or so, probably somewhere in there we'll hit that 90, and then just gently drift back into the 70s this evening, and then overnight tonight near 70 with some upper 60s, probably some lower 60s back into Louisa and some of those normally cooler areas. All right, here's a look outside at the Diamond Cam, just a partly cloudy to mostly sunny sky out here this afternoon. Would have been a good night for baseball tonight. You know, Parney is probably a little bit upset because we're not getting a lot of real rainy evenings this year. <laughs> Typically during baseball season or the last few, it seems like it's poured for extended periods of time. I showed you this yesterday. This is where we've been the past two weeks. This 86 is today. So yesterday we hit 90, but look at the range over the past two weeks. Really has been very little variation. We've only had about a six degree differential in the past two weeks or so. So that's fairly incredible, 88 to 94. It's been pretty uniform and it should be, of course, this time of year, that's why I'm showing you. And then the next several days, we'll start to spike a little bit. We'll see probably about a 94 or so again by Friday. So we're gonna warm up, but the key here is the humidity will start to increase on, especially by about Thursday and through the weekend. And our next best chance for showers will be Friday. And it's only about a 30% chance right through the weekend, which means just some scattered afternoon thunderstorms. There could be a spot on radar anytime over the next couple of days, but that should be about it. Right now, there was a little spot around Hampton Roads, but that's, that's pretty much gone now. High pressure dominating for us, and today we have a bit of a northeasterly flow. This southerly flow will start to affect us later on this week, and that's why we're expecting a big heat up. So the hour by hour forecast, just a couple spots possible on radar, maybe about a 10% chance or so. And then other than that, partly to mostly sunny skies, mostly clear tonight. Same deal tomorrow, partly sunny skies, could be a spot or so here or there, but not really enough to put. It's less than 20%. And that's pretty much our threshold for the seven day forecast. Highs will be in the 90s for the next seven day period.